Sunny here from Blissfully Creative. Uh, today I'm going to share, uh, today is Art Day Saturday, I should say, and today I'm going to um, show you a jour art journal page, a page in my um, art journal. <laughs> okay, so I can't speak English. Okay, here we go. So, um, a while back, well not really a while back, a week ago, I should say, it wasn't that long ago, um, I posted up a room tour of my craft room and um, as I was filming, I was finding, refinding things, like going and thinking to myself, ooh, I haven't used that before. And I found, I rediscovered my magicals, my Lindy Stamp Gun, Stamp, Lindy Stamp gang not gun magicals so and I have never used them before so I decided I was going to do a um, art journal page and give them a go so um, first up there I have just used my um, dusty attic texture paste and a um, delusion stencil and just um, randomly stenciled those little diamonds all over the art journal page and just dry them up with my heat gun. So these are the magicals. Um, they're like a um, pigment, a, a dusty pigment, and they react when you mix them with water. So what I've done is I've done a light spritz over the page and um, sprinkled some of the um, pigment on there and then re-sprayed it again and as you can see the, the way it reacts it's just it's just awesome I just love it so um, and I'm just using my a wet paint brush there just to um, guide the water where I want it to go the pigment where I want it to go so and now I'll just add it in that green it's a green color and some more of the blue and just tilting my page up and down just to get it to run a bit and using my um, paintbrush just to move it around, help it move around that little bit more. And I just wanted to sort of, because um, when you sprinkle the pigment down, you can end up with little um, chunks of pigment just sitting on your page. So I was using the paintbrush to um, sort of, you know, spread it out a bit more so it wasn't big chunks of pigment if that makes sense so I'm just using a sun paper towel there just to um, damp it up a little bit and just dry that off with my heat gun and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add try and add some more of that yellow it's not a yellow color it's more of a, um, a mustard color I could say and I just wanted to get that little bit more yellow in there I was really liking the yellow and not really the green so I've just come back to try and have a go with that and um, it wasn't really working as much as I had hoped that color there that was like a, a gray a, a deep gray and it kind of didn't react the way I thought it would but this is my first time using the magical so I think I just need to have a little bit more practice with them and um, this because this is the first go like I just said and more practice the more t more goes you have at playing with um, products the easier they are to use and the more fun I mean this was fun I had awesome time last night doing this um, you'll notice part way through the video it stops and I come back the next day to finish off this page because um, I wasn't feeling well and it was like probably about 11 o'clock at night and I had really just had enough and so I just let it go for the night and come back with a fresh mind. So there we go, I've um, it's all dried off and I've got that little bit of yellow greeny tinge colour and I was pretty happy with that. So now I've decided I'm going to get out some of my vintage paper. I think I get out some music paper, yep. I buy these little music books from the vintage shops and that and I pick them up for like a dollar and yeah I just rip them apart they're not that expensive and I think I also add some um, some book paper as well so I'm just going to stick these down with my um, gel medium my Liquitex gel medium and um, 
just to give that a little bit of more dimension to the background and just to add that little bit of an extra layer on there so um, I'll just get my Mod Podge there it is it's not Mod Podge <laughs> it's not Mod Podge sorry it's gel medium sorry Liquitex gel medium and that brush there is that brush I only use for gel medium or Mod Podge I don't use it for anything else that's my gel medium brush and I also have a brush just for gesso as well so because it, they ruin your brushes so if you keep one for each or you could probably use the same one for both I don't know never done that I just have one for each they're just um, some cheap brushes that I picked up and um, I just use them and they're solely for gesso and gel medium so we'll just dry that off and um, I think now I'll get my um, what do you call gesso because I just said that too gee whiz I'm not I'm just not with it today I think because last night I was not well I felt really really sick last night and yeah I just wasn't myself and I still haven't quite I'm still not quite there I don't think so um, I'm just using a, a an old gift card that I have I seem I just collect them every time I see them I just collect them because they're really really handy in the art room and I'm just you know using that to make a few lines give it a little bit of texture that's just the Liquitex um, gesso and now I'm just going to get a baby white and just sort of smudge it a little bit and it just lightens it that, that little bit because I didn't want everything to be completely covered I still wanted some of my background to show through so using the baby white um, just to lift that off just helps out that much and then just drying that off again there and now I'm going to use my stays on ink and that is a script stamp and I picked that up from um, Kaiser Craft just the other day I saw it in the shop there I was in um, my local store and I just fell in love with it so I actually paid full price for that and if you all know me I don't really pay full price for anything these days <laughs> I always try and wait for them to be on special but I really loved that stamp and I just had to have it I think it was like only $8.50 so it didn't really um, break the bank so now that's I'm pulled out my um, Kaiser Craft that's a Kaiser Craft um, stencil there I can't remember the name of it but you can pick it up anywhere and that's my delusions paint and my pink is very gluggy like it's not as nice and as fluid as the other paints the other colors so I found I had a hard time getting it through the stencil so it was a bit of a pain but I managed to do it I was fiddling and playing around with it and it was driving me a little bit crazy and I really just wanted to wipe it all off and um, do something else but I kept going and um, I'm really really happy with the way it ended up so um, so yeah so as I was saying I wasn't well um, my husband was he works late Thursday night so he was at work and so I had the kids and I really just wanted to get in my art room because Thursday nights is a really good night for me to to craft and play and stuff because my husband's not home and yeah I just wasn't well so you'll see no I haven't stopped yet I'm still going I think I was, no not yet yeah so I'm just turning my page around and yeah just trying to get it to work up the top there and you'll see that I got it up on the top of my um, girl next door which wasn't really my um, page next to that page I wasn't really happy with that but um, that's what happens I guess so we we'll just dry that off and um, I try I try to use that white delusions um, paint and for some reason it just wasn't I didn't I've never used the white one before I've pretty much used all the other colors but that white I wasn't really impressed with it it just it was so yeah I don't know I just I didn't really like the white I was trying to get a little bit of white over those pinks to um, it just to like push them back into the background that little bit more 
And I think I've just gone around in circles while talking to you. I don't know. Sorry if I have. Sorry if none of what I've just said makes any sense. I do apologise. Um, like I said, I haven't been well. So um, what I've done there, and like I was just saying, I wasn't happy with that effect. So I've just dried that off. And um, I think this is where I come back tomorrow. I think I'll leave it at that. That there is a wood veneer that I found in my stash while doing the craft tour. And um, I've had that for ages. And I thought I'm going to use that in this and um, see how it goes. So that's just something old I've had. I think it's the Dusty Attic product again. But I've had it for a long time. I think I might have even picked it up at a craft fair really, really cheap. And... Um, yeah, only maybe paid a dollar or something for it, or it came in that like a goodie bag pack. I can't remember, but yeah, I didn't pay much for it. So I'm just using um, put some more gesso on there because that pink was really, really, really bright, and I've just used my brayer to um, spread it out over my page, and then I'm just using that baby black again just to mute it down that little bit more because I still wanted that blue background to show through. So, and I think now I get my um, Lindy Stamp Gang sprays out. See, those sprays there. Um, they've sort of got a shimmer to them and you've got to really, really shake them up. So I shake them up off camera and give them a spray. I only have those two colours. They're the only two that I have. Um, that's a yellow and that's a sort of a bluey one. And so I just wanted to bring back that blue and that yellow that I had done with the magicals and because I had lost a lot of that under that pink and it just wasn't showing through so I wanted to just add that extra layer on top there and I'm really really starting to love that it's starting to look like what I had what I had thought the way it was going to go so I'm really happy with that so I'm just drying that off now and I think this is um, it for me and I come back again this is when I come back it'll be the next day so the lighting might change and so yeah so um I'll be coming back in a moment so and the next day I um yeah back again next day this is next day so and because it's dried overnight that yellow hasn't really shone through enough for me and, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in with a bit more yellow of that Lindy Stamp Gang um, spray. I think it's, it, I can't remember the name of it, but it's really, really nice. And like I said, I only have those two colours. And um, I don't know where else. I used to get them from a local scrapbooking shop near me, probably about half an hour away from me. But they shut down a while ago. And so I've never seen them anywhere else before. So I don't know where else to get them from but they're really really nice so as you can see I just wanted to add that little bit more yellow on there again and so I'm just going to dry that off with my heat gun so I've come back this is probably about oh, lunchtime the next day I've come back um, my daughter's home sick from school I had a um, doctor's appointment this morning just my monthly checkup at um, chemotherapy and just had blood tests and stuff and um, I've come home and decided I'm going to finish this um, spread because it needs to be done because I have a layout that I need to do later today. So that's just some cheap acrylic um, paint that I've picked up from my local $2 shop there. I think that was from the $2 shop. I might have got it at Spotlight. Either way, it was only cheap. And um, I just want to make a white circle there because I'm going to add my quote to the center of that um, wood piece that I had before, that swirly wood piece. And so it stands out. I just wanted to add a little bit white, as you can see there. Um, and I found that that brush didn't really help me get the effect I wanted. So I used my finger. <laughs> and I found that was so much better. Sometimes this is better to use your finger. And I got that on so much nicer. And I'll just quickly um, dry that off and um, then we will attach my wood veneer. 
Um, like I said before, that wood veneer, I've had that a long time. I don't even know if you could still even get it anymore. And I just love that look. It just looks awesome. I'm really, really starting to get really, really happy with the way this is going. So that's just a piece of that um, netting that I constantly use all the time. And I just wanted to add a little bit of texture as well, a bit of fabric to this because it's just it just finishes it off for me. I just really, really like the look of that. And I'm just using my um, close to my heart glossy glue to adhere all this down. And now I'm gonna just do the same with that um, wood veneer piece and um, stick that down as well. And I'll hold that for a little while to make sure that it sticks. So um, yes, I'm really, really happy with this. Um, and also this, this journal art journal page has become something of like a stash um, entry because I've used my magicals. I've used that old piece of um, chipboard there. I've used my Lindy Stamp Gang sprays, which I haven't used, I think I've only ever used once before. And they've just been sitting there for at least over a year. And I'm using that flower that has been sitting in my stash for such a long time. And those leaves that I came across as well when I was searching for that flower. So I've managed to use up a few bits and pieces from my stash. So I'm really okay, um, I had to stop recording my voice over there and come back. So I do apologise if it doesn't work. But um, I'll, I think I was just talking about using up my um, stash. So um, now I've, with that quote, I actually went through um, all my old vintage books and things like that to find every single word um, for that quote and cut them out individually from all different types of books. Um, it took me a while to do, I, I'm not going to lie to you, it took a while, but um, I do enjoy cutting out random words and making sentences and that's why I decided to um, have a go at that. So my quote reads, hope is a thing with feathers that perches Purchases, purchase, oh my god, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. It is a quote by Emily Dickinson and I loved her in high school, loved her and I, it's been one of my um, favourite quotes for a long time, I'm sorry about the way I've um, said it, um, like I've said earlier, I'm just, I don't know, today I'm not very good at my English for some reason. I'm not very good at English anyway, even though I am an Aussie and I've said that before. And um, so now I'm just um, blending in with that big brush pen in the pink just to make everything sort of work with each other and like it's always been there. I just didn't want that white circle to really stand out too much because I needed it all to, you know, look like it's you know working all together and it's been there it was all done at the same time you know what I mean that I can't even think of the word so I've just used my um big brush pen there and just a, a blending stuff <coughs> <coughs> sorry excuse me and just a, a blending stuff I picked up a pack from the local two dollar shop so now I'm just going to um, use that Delusions paint and I'm just going to go around the edges with some of that paint. I've watered it down just to um, make, I just wanted to bring in a bit more white into the background and I just wanted that wood veneer to stand out a little bit. So I've, um, sorry, I've got something caught in my throat. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm just um, using a little paintbrush and I'm just going around the edges and sort of blending it out from the edges back into the background so it all looks like it's meant to be there so everything sort of works and not like it's just been stuck down with some glue and just put there and I'm sort of painting over the wood veneer as well over some of the edges and not not covering the whole piece but just sort of a little bit around on top just sort of to make it all blend in together and I'm also just adding some of that paint, that watered down um, paint, 
to the flower and the leaves and over the tulle and that just to make everything sort of all work together so I love doing that that's just it just work it just makes it one it just makes it a whole one it just makes it one see I should have just stuck with that so now I'm just gonna use um, some thicker white paint there and just some water and I'm just gonna add my splatters to the background there just I'm gonna use a fan brush um, I do like using my fan brush for splatters um, I think I'm, I want to try the toothbrush effect I have never done that how bad is that so <laughs> I've never tried that um, so here we go um, so that's it from me today I want to thank you all for all your kind comments and liking my page and um, please subscribe if you like this video and I will see you next time bye